Hey guys, it's Space Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Impossible Things, which is our Alice in Wonderland 7 Gen Legacy Challenge. And as usual, I don't remember anything that's fucking going on. You know, I gotta write this shit down. <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> I know that Mercury was waiting on his college shit. But the thing is, is like, he's gonna age up. It was like, what's the point of him starting college, graduating early and starting college if we didn't get the information back? And then by the time he starts, he's a young adult anyway. Like, why is, why are they labeled 1.6? really bizarre i don't remember naming them that i mean sometimes i'll do it like to like you know like so that when they're in my gallery i can just search for wonderland and then i know which generations things are but like i don't think i would have them 1.6 like one and a half because we're not quite on gen 2 we're like halfway you know what i mean but like 1.6 seems a little uh, the, this seems a little beyond mathy to me like you know what i mean like Oh, and then there's you, dancing when you hate it. Can you get rid of that on you, or do you still hate it? I don't know. Anyway, you guys are probably fine. No, you're thirsty. What do you want to do? You want to make out? Oh, right, you wanted to make out with Morgan, but then he left. Ask what happened. So what the fuck's going on? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and then you're going to age up. Actually, we have birthdays, don't we? I just looked at that and I just was ignoring it because I was thinking about Mercury's fucking birthday. And the fact that I think this is... Yeah. Pluto and Astrum are going to age up. Oh, you're going to be an old man! Oh, no! That's so sad. You're going to die! Ooh, I mean, we gave you the long-lived trait, but, like, I mean, you'll live to see your grandkids, so that's cool. Like, I mean, I, I think at this point, is it worth sending, is it even, like, I think I was only going to send Mercury to college because it was like, oh, he graduated early, and you're like, all right, so he'll be a little, but, like, now it's like it's his whole entire first like fuck that why bother like why fucking bother at this point so i guess we won't be doing that which is kind of annoying like everybody loves sun and don't they oh oh personal rift oh that's true we also don't have you do anything with your vampire club do we it's Thursday. Maybe we should try to remember to do that, because I kind of forget that you have Vampire Club. Not that it matters. You're going to live forever. And technically for you, we did everything we wanted to do. Well, everything we were supposed to do, technically, for the challenge, which was basically nothing, because, again, this challenge was written when the game came out, and there was really not much to do. We didn't have pools or ghosts. There was really fucking nothing in the game. It was basically create a sim, and then you were like, and then I'm in a git, but nothing. Like, they had, like, three skills they could, it was sad. Sad times. I'll be dead honest, this is like, I mean, obviously I've said this before. I did not buy Sims 4 when it first came out, because it was like, there's no pools, there's no ghosts. And I was like, there's no ghosts? Fuck that shit. I didn't actually buy the Sims 4 until after Outdoor Retreat had already come out. Like, I always have bought every generation of Sims games, except obviously except for the first one. Um, the second it came out, it was like, damn, that day, bam, I'm there. So technically, I guess half of them, because The Sims won. Like, you saw the advertisements and stuff for it, but then one day I was like, oh, you should try that out. And like, probably a year after it came out, at least, there was a couple expansions, and I bought them all. Um... I think there's only like two or three expansions i don't really remember but so i bought like a like a set thing that came with like a button and like what i don't i feel like i did but maybe i did i don't know look i know i bought like the deluxe edition or whatever and then the one or two expansion packs that were out um 
But then after that, it was like every time something came out. But this one, and I was like, well, it's so funny because every single time a Sims game comes out, I'm always like, no, what the fuck? I don't like them. I don't like the way they look. Uh, no. Like, I did the same thing with Sims 2 and 3. I was like, mm-mm, no, 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 mm-mm, I don't, mm-mm. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, I was stupid because Sims 3 is, like, way better looking than Sims 2. And then you, I did the same thing with, like, Sims 3 and 4. I was like, ah, oh, no, I don't, mm-mm, I don't like this. And now I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? The Sims 3 looks like a bunch of fucking potatoes. Don't get me wrong, the Sims 3 had some fun shit in it. But, but then again, my game, none of that shit happened. So, only once did I move into a house where it was like, do you remember in The Sims 3 you can move in and be like, oh, your house might have been hit by meteors, or oh, this might have happened to your house. So you think you're going to move into a nice house and it's like, damaged as fuck? And that was like a random thing. That only happened once in all my years playing Sims 3. I don't think I ever saw the Kraken that existed on how, like, that happened. And I didn't know your Sims could get abducted by aliens in Sims 3. I was like, oh, they took that out. That's weird. Because my Sims never got fucking abducted. The aliens would come and visit. All of a sudden, the little spaceship would be there and they'd be knocking on your door and you're like, okay. I just thought that they changed it because, like, I wasn't on, like, forums or anything like that, really. I thought that they changed it. I was like, they stopped Sims getting abducted and now all you do is is aliens visit you. It's kind of dumb, but okay. Yeah. I had a meteor shower once. It took out Bonehilda and a couple of my shrubberies. That was it. Uh, That was... All the, that time. So I do think it's funny when people, like, talk about people who play this game. And like, oh, you didn't know this could happen. It's like, oh, like, people don't. And it's like, it's because sometimes the game doesn't do this shit. Sometimes the shit it's supposed to do, it does not fucking do. Like, I don't know. Let's come here and uh, mark your territory. Get some of that aggression down there, buddy boo. Because you're getting, like. Well, I mean, I get... No, see, the new... <sighs> you're going to be my goddamn problem, child, and I didn't expect you to be this way. Kinja, uh... Now you're feeling flirty. You need to go take a shower now that you just beat on everything. School for Pluto starts in a little bit. You should go with him, and then we can flirt with everyone. Actually, this is your last day of school, because it's tomorrow is your birthday. Well, I mean, we could take tomorrow off. Jibes. <laughs> Emilio! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's... That, uh, I'm not... We're gonna... I'm gonna join you, actually. We'll go with you. I, I have plenty of excuses for that. If you see Night at the Roxbury, that's that. But also... Il Fiore, there is a character named Emilio, and every time he shows up, that just goes through my head. So that's just been the thing for the last, like, two Pio Fiore games is... Emilio! You know, so it's like a twofold thing. And I just... And then we have our character, my sim in here named Emilio, and I couldn't help myself. I can't... I, I'm, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is fucking, like, ratchet. Also, my bird's sitting with me in case you hear weird fucking noises. It's not me. It might be me. Let's see. What else do you have to do? You have to get caught cheating three times. Okay, you've done three out of ten. You have to hook up and you have to get X status. Well, you know, you could probably do that with your lovers that we're going to lock in the basement. You know what I mean? Because you could just romance them and then... Or, like, you know, you could romance a sim. Oh, become a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And then lock them in your basement and then break up with them. You have to break up couples, though. That's going to be hard, because, like, how are we going to find couples floating around here, I guess? I mean... And also, I'm not... Let's see. I know you can, like, break up social to convince a sim to dump or divorce their... Okay, okay. I was like, how are we going to force that? Okay, you got to convince them to break up. Okay. Which we could totally do. We just got to find some, like, married fucking Sims or slap some married Sims in here. You know what I mean? It's going to be a little difficult to find Sims that are married. 
I kind of wish there was an easier way of doing that aside from like asking, are you single? Are you single? Are you single? You know what I mean? Study for exams. Bullshit. They, oh. Um, I'm going to have you go to work. Let's see. Where are you, where are you going to go? You're going to watch a funny video. Junior. Junior. Huh? <laughs> Jasper, let's do a flirty introduction. Oh, I know what you could do. Hold on. Vampire. There you go. Can you... Can you... God, my eyes! Do you find him unattractive? I guess. Very unattractive. All right, well, maybe you should not do that. Turn that on and I guess go to class. And maybe everyone will, like, be fawning over you in class. So that would work, I guess. Everyone. Yes. Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith kind of actually... You've got, like, a fucking skin over... Do you... I mean, you've got, like, crazy eyelashes, but, like, yeah, that's why. Oh. I don't know. You. Can't do it, because we're not you. Um, Wesley. Does someone have kids that we didn't know about? That's why you're cute. Colorado's one of your dads. Oh, Wesley might be son and, and Morgan's child from my Morgan. I get very confused with all the Sims that like Morgan is procreated. I, I forgot I added some of them in there. I'm like, wait a minute. Because like when I was filling out the world, I'm like, oh, I'll just throw in all these because they're all good looking. <laughs> and then if I put my good looking Sims in, then usually they have other good looking Sims. So, I I think it's funny that we're getting this pop-up about a talent show when we're at school with him, but... Student body's trying to organize a talent show. Pluto thinks this would be a great opportunity to show off his comedy skills. Pluto's friends constantly tell him he's funny, so why not expand his audience? Yeah, I feel like Pluto absolutely would. Major oof. Giggles erupted in pockets of the crowd, but sadly not from any jokes Pluto told. It looks like some more practice may be in order before he ascends to Comedy King. I feel like he absolutely would have done that, though. Alright, so let's see. That's the guy. Oh, Gil! Okay, Gil has an... Oh, okay, wait. Okay, we could, uh... Wait, are you Akira's son? Hell yeah! And so Oh, well, there you go. You're probably attractive, too. Who's, who are you, children of? You just randomly appeared. You have two kids! You are barely a teenager and you already have two kids. Like, you you just got here. You're like a fucking freshman. Jesus, freshie, what the fuck are you doing? Holy fucking shit. My game is... Okay, it's MC Command Center. And, like, you already have two kids, too! Also, you should have aged up, like, yesterday. You have three! What the fuck? Okay, seriously, game, listen... I guess the thing is, is like, I have MC Command Center on like for teen pregnancy and shit like that. Um, because I want you to flirt in front of Gil so that he catches you. Um, it, I have it on so that like, are you, is the teacher flirting with us? Oh my, I think the teacher is flirting with us. No, you're gonna... Never mind. Don't flirt with him now. I need you to fucking... I wanted you to flirt in front of Gil. Like, how are you gonna... Okay, come over here and do a... More choices, romance. Let's flirt with him. Don't flirt with him. Come on, stop talking to the teacher. Come over here and do this. God damn it. Will you get over here? You need to get over there. Stop talking to the teacher and go, would you? Come on. Like, you're not... Oh, son of a bitch, you asshole. It's not what I wanted. Will you fucking do... God damn you, sons of bitches. 
If you wanted them to come over to you, they wouldn't. I need you to get the fuck over here. And like, oh, here we go. You need to do it in front of the guy that you, you're romancing. He's not even looking at you. And then he just walked away. And then he just, he just walked, okay. Harder to get caught flirting. You should flirt with your teacher. Ask if single. I love the alluring visage that everybody is like. You're so, I mean, he is like, it's like 40 pounds. You're single, great. Um. Compliment appearance. We're flirting with everybody now. We're flirting with our teacher. Bold pickup line. Fuck yeah, bold pickup line with the teacher. <laughs> so wrong. There's so many wrong things about this. Oh my god. I mean, we have to, like, this poor kid in his hair, but, like, uh, <clears throat> I was complaining about something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, no, the fucking pregnancy thing. I want teen pregnancy because I want, like, if I decide that I want my teens to get pregnant, but I don't understand why MC Command Center seems to think that every single teen should have 14 kids. The adults don't have this many kids, but the teenagers do. So, like, I think I got to check out my options and uh, see if I can, like, lower the awe. Like, I still want... You know, because you, like, teen pregnancy fucking exists. Could you go to class? Oh, sweet Jesus. Reset. Can you go to class now? Attend your class. Good lord. Um, <clears throat> they get stuck inside each other. That sounds disturbing. Um, I was like, I still want teen pregnancy to happen, but I just don't understand why when it decides that somebody needs to get pregnant and it's it's always like, with a teenager. Every fucking adult has kids with teenagers. Teen and, like, I don't understand why my teen pregnancy is on, like, 180%. Like, Jesus Christ, MC Command Center, simmer the fuck down. Like, simmer the fuck down. Every kid in this fucking school, she has three fucking children. Oh, you actually, surprisingly, are the only one that doesn't. I bet my teacher doesn't have kids. Oh, you actually have one. That's shocking. That is fucking shocking, because every single one of these fucking kids in this class has fucking kids. Do you? You have one child, but all my fucking teenagers have, like, goddamn three. Two kids. Three children. One child. The adults have one ch child, and like half the teenagers have like eight kids. And it's like fucking ridiculous. Like, good fucking lord. I don't understand like why MC Command Center feels the need that like every time a pregnancy needs to happen, it's always with a teenager. Again, I want, I don't want to turn it off because like having it, like if I want, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could still. Have my teen kid I don't know, but like I need to like go in and see if the odds are like eight hundred. It'd be like s less odds for teenagers because I mean it just basically picks Sims and it's like these two Sims and then they'll have a kid and like so it doesn't check that they're teenagers. Wants to go to the prom? Oh yeah, sure. I'm gonna age up tomorrow. Can I still go to the prom? But like, all right, cool. Can I still go to the prom as a young adult? I can. Poor Joy says romance. Sick of fools. Let's go flirt with him. Right in front of the guy that just asked you to prom. See what happens. I mean, you think with all the flirting I'm doing? In front of, uh... You think with all the romance and all the flirting I'm doing in front of guys I have relationships with that they'd get jealous. But yet, not, nothing is happening here. I'm trying to get somebody jealous. But it's just not working. Everybody, do I, like... 
He's a lover sim. Of course he is. You are talking to all these sims and nobody is paying attention. Like, it is fucking bizarre. Like, how are you flirting with all these sims in front of other sims and nobody is upset about it? I guess they just don't care. Offer a rose to your teacher. I was just trying to do all of this. And, like, nobody is, uh, nobody's, nobody's, like, uh... I mean, we are just, like, flirting with everybody. We just gave a rose to our... T Look at this! Nobody's getting jealous over here! Do we have... What the hell happened? Sweetie, what happened to you? Why is nobody getting jealous of this? Everybody's seeing you flirt with everyone else, and nobody is getting upset. I don't understand what's happening. I mean, all right, we're just making lots and lots of romance. I mean, we can romance the teacher. We can embrace our teacher. He's not our teacher. He's somebody else's teacher. It's okay. But nobody's getting jealous of this. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Nobody's getting mad. Nobody's getting mad. Nothing to do with Sim just isn't inspiring any kinship. I don't know who it was. Oh, someone's getting in a fight. Oh, are they two guys fighting over us? Is it two of our boyfriends? Nah, this girl's mad. What, who, who's, she be, who's she beating up? She's beating up Jeff. Is she jealous that we were flirting with Jeff and not her? Is she just the bully in school? I think we should flirt with her. I think we should. Why not? Go hit on her. See what happens. Like. Okay, let's not chat anymore with him. Let's watch this fight. Are you going to be done fighting? Good God. No. Why in the world is the teacher just watching this, by the way? Not even trying to break it up. Can we like more choices? Romance. Let's flirt with her a little. She's like, "How dare you!" And now they're chatting like nobody's business. Give him a little embrace, I guess. Although he kicked her ass. She's, I feel like she started it. He's like, what's up, girlfriend? He needs to feed. Oh, sweetie. He's like, hi. Flirting with you in front of all of my other relationships and nobody seems to give a shit. Nobody seems to care. So, like... Yeah, nobody... Nobody is... Nobody's being bothered by this. I'm not 100% sure what's happening here. I mean, I guess because we don't have a high enough relationship with all these people that flirting with them doesn't make a difference. It's all right. It's fine. We're definitely going to get caught cheating by her husband multiple times because he's going to catch us cheating with all of our, like, lovers that we keep locked in the basement. Ooh, Pluto has a major crush on Jeff. Oh, okay. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Compliment his outfit. Ask about uh, ask about uh, ask about romantic interests as I click exchange numbers because I'm not apparently paying attention. I don't know why you decided to drink that when you could have had this. Glad you don't think my llama jokes. Oh, do you find me attractive, Jeff? Do you, Jeff of all? <gasps> let's have our first kiss. Okay, let's do that. I'm just saying, you have a major crush on Jeff, and, like, isn't he one of the Sims that, like, should have aged up yesterday? Yeah, so he's gonna age up. He's got three kids, but, like, we care about that. I'm not sure. We have to figure out... Okay. Well, first of all, we have to figure out who Pluto's husband's gonna be. And then we have to decide. Oh, there you go. Now he's a young adult. There you go. I mean, like, he's Colorado's kid. So, you know, like, he's kind of, like, gonna be handsome. Yeah, his eyelashes are goddamn terrible. Like, they just, they don't work. But, like, 
fix his shit, and he'd be fine. <laughs> okay. All right, girl. You do you. What the hell? <laughs> um, and But we have to decide for him, and I guess it really depends. He's supposed to... Okay. So Pluto has to get married. Cool. We're going to move our husband in. Our husband's going to be the one that catches us cheating all the time with our lovers in the basement. I mean, what did you fucking think you were getting into? I don't know. Um... And then he has to have one kid, but I don't know if he should have a child with his husband or with his lover, the knave, who he's supposed to kill his husband and then be with the knave. So, like, so like that was part of the challenge. Like, kill husband after leaving him for the knave. Like, and then I was kind of, like, writing, like, well, maybe that's the last lover he locks in the basement or one of them, and that's just his favorite <laughs> this this really i really kind of feel a little fucked in the head sometimes when i'm like it's his favorite of his like pets that he keeps locked in the basement that he uses sexually and then eats uh -huh. <laughs> i mean when you kind of phrase it that way i'm really concerned oh dear god Archimedes, no, you're fine. Go take a shower, sweet cheeks. Likes right... Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I hate the fear of a dead-end job when it's so fucking annoying. Like, listen. You don't get a fear of a dead-end job every fucking day. Like... Owie has asked me on a date. Sure, shoo, go for it. Um, Because, le let's be real... It takes a long time. You do not get promoted on a daily fucking basis. And I know for Sims, a day is like a year. But like, you do not get... What the fuck is happening here? Why is that all of a sudden your bathing outfit? What in the actual fuck happened? And why? Not that it matters. You're just bathing. But also... Huh? That's new. That's really f okay. Maybe I, I don't. All right. Anyway, um, can we bring this downstairs so we can throw this out, and then we need to check on everybody else. I was gonna have Mercury, I guess, go to co like, but fuck it. I guess you're not going to college because I just don't really feel like dealing with it. So, and we can't get you a job, which is unfortunate because I feel like. I think with a degree, you would be able to... I think I might cheat you up to at least level three starting at a job. Um, I do wish we could join a career, like a young adult career, because I swear that's what it said in the thing, but I think I read it wrong. And then I think I checked it again and was like, no, I read it wrong, but I don't know. Oh, I thought I looked it up. I think I looked it up and it was like, no, you don't. Yeah, that's all right, fine. I want you to have a real job, goddammit. You know, graduating early was kind of a pain in the ass. Also, could you, like, simmer this shit down? Oh, you can't. Oh, good lord. All right, well. You have nine PowerPoint. Holy shit, what the hell? What have we been slacking on you? Ooh. Make Sims find you attractive. Your ability to attract and seduce other Sims has grown. Okay, the next tier. Okay, yeah, let's just straight up do that. Vampiric fascination. With but a single glance, your seductive charisma can lure a fascinated mortal to your side. Um, Control the minds of other sims. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, I don't think you care if you can create. I don't care about garlic. Vampiric strength. Occult student. I think we'll be fine with this right now we'll get you some more and actually that's true you definitely need to you're doing your homework such a good one. what is your vampire you're at 13 where's your father uh you have maxed right and it's a 15 level skill okay why don't you vampire request training why don't you have your dad train you because i think that would work you have no one to ask for help because Lou is God knows where. Let's see. And actually, for you, Mercury, 
I gotta figure out something for you to do right now. You're gonna go into the... Lo I kind of feel like you should need, like, logic skill for that, right? Is it what are you doing? Playing Sims. I mean, is it because you need it? You have to go to bed now. Alright, fine. You know what? Why don't you just go to sleep? You're getting training, right? Are you gonna train? You gonna train him? He mentored. Good. He's like, God, I hate dancing! And yet I do it constantly. Oh, good. Can you, like, fix yourself? No, I also never have fucking... Okay, I need you to... I need you to stop doing that. I need you to fix yourself. I need you to stop being a pain in my ass. We're gonna have to kick you out soon. We won't kill you. Although I wish we could sell you. Okay, there you go. Go fix yourself, because you're being a pain in my ass. You're training your child, and then you're going to drink. And then, are you done doing the vampiric training? I... He's in a row. Yeah, boy. okay. Oh, Gosha! Life is pain. Just keep going. <laughs> I mean, I really do feel like that is absolutely something Archimedes would tell you. And it lowered your empathy, which is good. I mean, your empathy. I think I, like, uh... Oh. oh, dear God, I hate these. Um, you... Do you have vampire books in your inventory? Read... Our vampire books are not in there. Are our vampire books in here? Because you like to keep putting them. I feel like you need the ultimate compendium. Can you read this? Did it say read or reread? Okay, read. I feel like that's good. Because I want you to get your skills up. Your next one is going to be a master vampire. You're, like, seriously a prime vampire as a teenager like that's actually impressive you're gonna turn you could become a master vampire as a young adult and you're like grand master like 16 times over aren't you just keep going let's see you have six points what can we get you mesmerize dampened emotions i kind of like you being very emotional deprive someone's needs okay we don't really use a lot of energy, so I'm not too concerned about that. Odorless. Mm. Immortal pleasures. Fun need doesn't decrease. Archimedes will never drink from other sims on his own. No, I kind of want you to. Social need doesn't decrease. Well, it doesn't really matter because there's tons of sims around. So I'm not really concerned about those. Deplete the needs of other sims. Mm. Put another sim to sleep. Become more resistant to changes in emotions. Cool and calm. Ray's moving too quickly or just won't stop. Archimedes wants to force the sim to catatonic state. Well, I think mesmerize might be nice. Um, I mean, I guess you could always get... Use less vampire energy. Even though your energy is always full. So that's why I'm not too concerned about it. You know, not too concerned about you. And honestly, they don't need to have, even though they have tons of power points, they don't need to use them all. So, fine. Where are you? Okay. I was like, you're not fucking swimming outside, are you, asshole? You have to get level 8 logic skill, and you, you have to write a scientific paper? Word. I didn't tell you to work from home, though. I told you to go to work, I'm pretty sure. I must have clicked the wrong thing. Alright, well, anyway. I'm gonna, like, throw this in your inventory. Can you chat with Archimedes? And write... Oh, whoops. Write a scientific paper. 
Little has learned that there's a drink that allows vampires to reset all their things, which we don't care about. We don't want to do. I don't want to reset you. That's why we just make you grow stronger so we can get more points. Forever and ever. I mean, look at you. You're still a young adult and you're like a grandmaster vampire. But then again, that's because technically you'd be almost an elder if you think about it. And there's a part of me that does want to change your vibe and your look. You know what I mean? To go along with your age. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to because I feel like Archimedes is just Archimedes. And this is just what we're used to. And changing you and making you something else... You know what I mean? Would be weird. Vampire cure? Now, actually, if we decide at some point that, like, okay, we have too many Sims in the damn house, especially because they're vampires. Like, obviously, Astrum's gonna die, so, like, that's fine. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, Mercury's gonna die, but, like, Arkham and Frickin' Pluto are going to be around forever. Oh, <laughs> Unless someone actually stabs Pluto. You know. Which could be a plot line. I'm just throwing that out there. Because if you think about it, he's going to have, like, his love dungeon, right? And, like, at some point, half of the people that you fall in love with have, like, 13 fucking kids. So you think at some point, someone would be like, I don't know what happened to my parent, my mom or my dad, whoever. And oh my God, our Christmas decorations are still out. We should put those away. This is me like in February. Oh, I guess I can take down my motherfucking Christmas decorations. But anyway, um, like he's going to have killed so many people. And then like, you know, you think, oh my God, my dad went missing or my mom went missing or whatever. And then all of a sudden it's like, then you find out that this vampire kidnapped them and then murdered them. And then you're like, <gasps> And then they put a stake through his heart. I'm just saying, if we run out of, if we get too close with too many Sims, you know, um, too many Sims in the house, that's an option. Okay, there you go. You did your work from home assignment. Why don't you come get something to eat? Oh, you were already going to get something to eat. Never mind. Okay, cool. Uh, that, I mean, but then again, at the same time, it would probably be like, you killed my grandfather. You know what I mean? Because you're my great-grandfather or someone. You killed my ancestor! Because, well, I mean, if we decide to kill off Pluto, because I kind of want Archimedes to just last the entire time. But if for some reason we're getting to the point where the house is too full and we got to kill a vampire, and we decide to kill Pluto, that's a really good, like reason for killing a moth is not like oops he burst out into flames in the sun it's like oh well somebody that he kidnaps and puts in his basement and murders right their children were like so upset that they just learned to become vampire hunters or whatever because they somehow knew i, I don't know why they would have known it was a vampire but maybe they just did okay some one of the okay granted in this one, we're not exactly like vampires, werewolves, we're like fey creatures, you know, weird, somewhere in there. Oh, that's true. I forgot all about this shit. Oh, right. Never mind. We don't have to do any of this because it's all in my fucking inventory. Goddamn fucking this shit. I don't understand why it's doing this. I'm going to let him pee first. You, are you going to pee? Please actually go pee. I don't know why you decided not to go pee. Okay. Why are you not peeing? Why are you not peeing? Is it because the servo bot's in here? Can you just go to a different bathroom then? Christ. It's like he won't pee because the servo bot's fucking in there. It's like, well, servo bot's a robot, first of all. Oh, wait, did it just sprout? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Maybe I was just early. Anyway, it's Friday, which means it's birthday times. Still mad. You talking to the thing? Like doing, like the fact that you can't see. 
it's funny. It still amuses me because, like, you forget about it and then you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, actually, you cannot drink. Is there a male here? Get mail. Um, that music is so loud. What are you doing? What kind of phase are you going through? This. Lunar Peace! I didn't see what phase he's going through. I'll pick up any instrument. Tall okay, he turns all radios up to loud. That explains. I was like, is that the phase you're going through? Like, the really fucking loud one? All right, I'm going to put this in your inventory, and then we're going to get this. And you're going to read this, and you were accepted into university, but, like, if we enroll... Oh, look at that! Great. Okay. Well, anyway. That was stupid. We got accepted into university, but we're not going, because... It would waste an entire week of his young adult life. He's going to age up on fucking Monday anyway, right? So... Like, or Sunday. So, like, I mean, it's just dumb. But anyway, speaking of birthdays, let's just age fuckers up right now. Let's see. Where's my open? School for Pluto starts in an hour. We're not going to have him go today. Because he's going to age up. Glowing? He's not glowing, but... I don't want him to age up... Like... Um, let's go... Whoops. What? Wait. Business? Oh, there it is. Take a vacation. I was like, where's the take a vacation day? I was looking for Colin Sick or something. I don't know. Uh, you're gonna take a vacation day from school. And then I'm gonna have you come over here and age up. Even though, technically, you could age up a little bit later. It's fine. You're not glowing, but it is your birthday. It's your birthday. See? Friday. Birthdays. These two chuckle fucks. <laughs> I mean, it just looks like still's a zero, but I kind of do. Like, glowing sometimes is weird. All right. So now you're a young adult. Good for you. You're not supposed to have a job, right? So let's just check. Oh, we have to give you a new trait. You're evil romantic. I think you should be a snob. Where are we going to give you an I think we can give you the extra one, but I think we're going to make you a snob and then we'll give you self-assured and Oh. Wait. Oh wait. Can you why can't you have the villainous valentine aspiration? Wait. Oh, oh wait. It's not under where is it under? Which one is it under? I forget where it is. It's not under love. Is it under deviance? That's why. Okay. I, I was like, wait a minute. Why can't you have that still? Um. Cool. Add candles. Morgan sent yeah, him a gift. Thank you. Your friend is officially graduated. The Ableton graduation ceremony on their calendar. Okay, blah, blah, blah. High school diploma. Now, and I just want to make sure. Okay, you still kept your shit. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to have you come. I really don't want you to do this. But you need to come here and age up as well. All right. So we made you a snob, but I think I'm going to give you the self-assured thing as well. And you've got the villainous valentine. And then there you go. So you're good. Um, you... Anyway, so you're going to come in here. I think what I'm going to do is while we're back here, I am going to... Nope, hold on. Great bigger. It's basic... No. EA personality traits. Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought I had these ones that I could add to. Master Mage Job. I know he's old. We're going to have to go in and, uh. I thought for the. Wait, hold on. Make sure we're on you. 
I thought for this one, attractive, absent love types, talent of weaknesses. I thought we had the... Shit. Huh. I guess not. I thought I could put... I thought I had them. Like... Good for you. Hmm. So I, I thought I had that so I could put the other one on there. Hmm. Because I think if we go in here, I'd have to change it. But I swear... Oh, you know what I think it was? I think I had it so you could get it from the reward store. He's got enough points where he should be able to do it. And they're not that much. That's why. So what was the other one we were going to add? We were going to add self-assured to him. All right. So, okay, that's fine. I was like, I know I had it in here somewhere, but I think I had done this because it's like only 26 points. So we'll add that. So there you go. Now you've got your little extra. Now you're a romantic evil snob who is self-assured, responsible, argumentative. You have a weak bloodline. Which is for your spellcaster shit, which is fine. That makes sense. Insensitive. Insensitive, argumentative, but responsible. You were a happy toddler. You're mischievous. Child of winter, child of the moon. Sinister, dastardly, alluring lover. <laughs> Those are the um, wonderful whims kind of traits. Holy goddamn shit. That is way too loud. So I am going to change volume back down to low. You can deal with it. Oh, you are, like, on a fucking rampage. I don't think we can fix this. Can you come here and, like, mark your territory? I'm going to send him alone. And I'm also going to see if you can somber how to try to chill you out a little bit. Chill you out just a little, buddy. Although, if you go on a rampage, it's probably fine. Those two are off to work. Go grab something to eat. And anyway, so I will probably give Astrum a little bit of a makey over. Just give him, his hair is already kind of white, but maybe we'll just see if we can make it whiter. I don't know. We can leave him, I guess. It's probably fine. Where are you going? Can you add birthday candles to this? And then fucking charge. You're kind of killing me here. Who's calling you? Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thanks. Pretty sure that's Ash, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so I need you to come put candles on this cake before somebody fucking eats it. Because I don't want to make another one. And yeah. So I may leave Astrum the way he is. I don't know. We'll see. But at any rate, next time, uh, Mercury will probably age up because he ages up on Sunday and then we can get him his lawyer job but I mean he should have gone to call uh, whatever it's fine so we'll work on that and anyway why in the world does the servo bot not fucking get out of the goddamn bathroom and go the fuck to sleep and I also need you to get the fuck out of the bathroom so your fucking cousin can goddamn take a fucking bath. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.